Is it time? Is it time? I we think it's time. Wait, yeah, can, can you check? To... Yeah! Hey, what's up? Hello, hi. <laughs> hi, up? okay, can you hear us? Hi. Oh, oh nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Hi, okay, mm -hmm. can you hear us? Yeah, uh, uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Hi. hi. Um, so nice to meet you. You too. So this is uh, Young K from Day 6. Nice to meet you. And Young K, uh, we'd like to introduce ourselves to you. Uh, okay. We're, we're almost one half of the band Ben and Ben because we're nine in the band. So exactly, yeah. I'm Miguel. I'm Andrew. I'm Paolo. I'm Jam. Yes. We're... <laughs> Hello. Uh, where, where, where are the other members? Well, uh, they're currently recording and we realized that we're nine in the band, so it would be hard for us to fit in one frame. So oh, okay, we took okay. four from the band to talk to you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Hi. So how are you? How are you? Uh, how Good. Um, it was raining pretty hard this morning mm -hmm. in Korea. It's not raining anymore in Seoul. Um, and yeah, and I'm, I've been up to radio lately. Okay. And it's all other stuff. <laughs> I see, I see. Well, we, we wish it were raining here because usually it was like, it was super hot today and like the temperature is just so hot here in the Philippines. But then it's all right, it's all good. And uh, <laughs> on our, we've been recording a lot lately oh. uh, so uh, a new song came out and you're recording again like for a new song <laughs> ah. congratulations on our uh song together i think people yeah. really like it so yeah. thank you yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's and, an amazing uh, song. i loved it oh thank you thank, thank you. you we loved your You're vocal like it, I was telling uh, people yesterday that Alibs is such a it's such an it's such a um, a deep song to a lot of people and uh, what what your vocal did to it is it really added to the story of the song and you really gave it justice, man. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Honor. And but. Um... The the fact that I like I found like interesting about this song is uh you know the title leaves because mm -hmm. um usually people talk about you know the flower or like the blooming of a uh, flower or like a uh, fruit or yeah but it was interesting for me to like focus more on the leaves mm -hmm. like which which can be. Uh, pass by from a topic. Yeah. But, yeah. It, it was, it, I think that hit me harder than like it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, wow. Thank you. We, we appreciate that, especially from a songwriting perspective. It, it means a lot to us that you, you noticed that. Yeah. 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 yeah power of the song. So, yeah. Oh, it's, it's really awesome you have that perspective because I didn't think of that as well, but it's so beautiful and uh, we might just add it to to the story whenever people ask us about the song. <laughs> oh, 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 you didn't mean it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, I, I also wanted to ask you, like, how did you come up with the idea of this song? I, yeah, I was curious while I, when I heard the song. Well, you know, I think, um, I don't know, it's, it's probably different for, for different um, artists or songwriters, but basically when we write the songs, we take it from, uh, from personal experiences and uh, I think Leaves was written probably five, four or five years ago. And 
I was going through something um, quite difficult, uh, like a personal experience of mine, and and I think that was one of the first times where the only way that I could have moved on from it was if I put it down in a song, and that's what started the whole thing. And I think, especially with the theme of this song, which is about hope and it's about forgiveness, uh, I I found it very hard to do that until that point when when the song was written. And then I realized that uh, sometimes when you're going through something heavy or or someone hurt you, the first person that you must be able to forgive is actually yourself by allowing yourself to feel whatever emotions you have to feel at the moment. So that that's that's basically where leaves came from. It's it was it was my song of healing at the time and then eventually it became the band's song. So yeah. no. <laughs> uh it's it's uh interesting how like we uh, we write songs and then uh, the purpose is to you know heal others. It's for other people, right? Mm, yeah. But just by writing that song, just by listening to it, just by singing it, it does heal ourselves too, yeah. doesn't it? Exactly. How, how about you, uh, Young K? What's your What's your process when you write songs? Because we've been listening to uh, your new album. Oh. <laughs> and I, I really yeah. love. The current single, I think it's You Make Me, right? And then, yeah. but one of my personal favorites also here is the song Only. Oh, okay, okay. I really love the beat. So, like, how, how's your process when you, when you guys, like, write songs? Usually, we work with a producer. Okay. And then, um, uh, like, it differs from song to song. Sometimes you might uh, start from maybe a word like just a topic. Uh, yeah. So we have a title first and then oh, how should we write about it? Or maybe sometimes we'll start with a melody or like a full lyrics or a guitar riff. Mm -hmm. But like for example, uh, I don't know what the English title of this song is, uh, but well, is there a song called Over the Clouds? Above or the Clouds. Above the clouds, yes. <laughs> that song was actually started by a guitar with, uh, brought by Songjin, our leader. I, I yeah. Um, so it differs from song to song, but usually we start with a track, like a full instrumental. No, not a full instrumental. Uh, of course. Just like sketch, like just like a rough sketch. Yeah. Like we have the chords, we have the how the rhythm's gonna go, and that's it. And then we just bring out melodies uh we call it top lining yes and, yes. Yeah. and we just you know just in my it never makes sense it's like I saw a voice so the mountain, I don't know. Well, I, you know it doesn't make sense and then we we like uh when we're writing with other members we okay. gather all the melodies and like, chop it down to make it to a better melody and then after we have the track sketch and the uh that those chopped up melodies then you know listen to it over and over and over until i, I come up with something and then write it down uh i'll write the lyrics down i see yeah <laughs> uh we haven't tried that yet yeah actually we haven't tried that process we might try that for our next song yeah because <laughs> uh Coming up with an idea first uh -huh. might it, like that might uh, bring out the vibe better, but sometimes uh, it might be hard to just bring it from the beginning till the end. Uh, yeah. To have an uh, instrumental and uh, the entire vibe first, That's and then when finishing the song sometimes uh, works better for us. Yeah. Oh, that's that's such a great uh, way to do it. Cause like laying a foundation first. Yeah, because sometimes what we noticed when when writing songs is that 
there there are a lot of times where you get in a rut when like or you 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 don't know what to do next when 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 you don't have like a set of melodies and like sometimes it gets stuck and then you just say okay i'll just work on this like some other time but yeah if, yeah <laughs> but nice. to flow, just like what you said then yeah. then it's a, it's a, it's a good way to yeah. do it we'll keep that in mind thank you <laughs> <laughs> thank you so, um cuz you know we we listen to your stuff like we it's not from this album uh we really love the song it's in in english it's you were beautiful uh okay. we actually did a cover of it uh like yeah i checked it out it was amazing oh thank, thank you thank, thank you, you man. like hands down it was stuck in our heads for like months months, months. <laughs> no really up months. to now up, up to, to now. now up to now we just kind of burst into song with that song yeah random times of the day here at this yeah. house yeah <laughs> yeah crazy yeah and uh so maybe we can talk about that like how how did you come up with that song because it's such a such a great song how did you guys come up with that song um actually when the when that song was being made in the very beginning i was in another room i was in the was so like there's like a recording room so like working room and then like the studio and there's a i was in the studio alone writing lyrics for i think the song called dance dance so okay. everybody was uh, people were waiting for me i'm like oh, no <laughs> Was it not? I, I was writing us uh, uh, lyrics for something else. Mm. It came out later than we were, and I was writing. And then while they were waiting, the producer and Wong Pil. Oh yeah, look, there were two people waiting. Wong Pil and, uh, and producer was just had a very just a rough guitar and and. They they asked me, yo, how, uh, would it be nice if you could write a song with like yep, yeah, awesome. I mm. that was it, and then okay, let's go. And then they had the guitar riff, and guitar riff and yep, yeah, awesome, and that was it. Mm. And then uh, they they like kind of developed on it the melody. And then they showed me it was it was actually I think uh, recorded on. Garage band, garage band. Nice. It always home. <laughs> Best. So it was a very rough version, and oh, this is this is nice. Okay, I'll, I'll try to write something about uh, you were beautiful. What was beautiful? And then um, I like uh, okay, I, I okay, I'm not trying to say uh, we're gonna start over or anything. I'm just saying this. You were beautiful, and Yeah, that's how it worked out. And melody, melody was very rough. It wasn't the full version, so we kind of worked on it again. So, I see. Yeah. That we, speaking of that riff, we we it was also one of the parts of the song that we loved the most. Um, aside from the song itself, because we like sing the riff in in like, <laughs> you guys do that sometimes when you sing a riff of like. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, we really love that that in, intro part of the song. So sorry, we just we yeah. So we can we can go on. Yeah, we can go Thank on. you. <laughs> okay. Um I I I think uh we we want to mention something that a lot of uh, my days as well mm-hmm. as you want uh which is uh, our fandom as well have mentioned yesterday. And they mentioned that You love food. Yes, I do. I love it. <laughs> you, you love, and you, you're you're really known for 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 loving food and loving eating. So, um, yeah. what what we like to say is that we love food too so much. So, oh, really? From music, like that's one one common thing with us. So, if we were to visit there, what would you suggest would be the very first thing we should try? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 
if ever you go there. Very hard. Like you know, the popular ones are like uh, bibimbap or like kalbi or samosa. Yeah. I or uh, I was. Uh, are you guys go with spicy food? Yes. 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 We love spicy. We love spicy food. Uh, I I would suggest tteokbokki. Oh, oh, we love tteokbokki. We love tteokbokki. You guys tried it? Okay, then. Uh, no, no. Um, well, then I would suggest chicken. Yes. Just any any fried chicken in Korea. Oh, okay. Yeah. I feel you like know, there are a lot of chicken in the world, <laughs> like uh, fried chicken. But I think Korea Korean fried chicken has its distinct character. Uh, And It differs from it differs from uh, a lot of uh, stores to stores. There are so many delicious chicken. You, I, I, would, I think it'd be possible if I had chicken every day, and, and different menu every single day, it would go on for months. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah. I, I've I've never tried like legit Korean fried chicken because we have like a there's like a fast food version of it here. And it, I, uh, I love it. it's called bonchon, and and they eat, like Korean fried chicken. But then, um, for legit, yeah, we see it. We we watch a lot of K dramas. Yeah, and we and see. And we always go to chicken fried chicken joints, and it always looks so, so good. good. <laughs> like when they when they bite the chicken, it's oh man. <laughs> and there's this word called called a uh, chime. Chime. Okay. With the uh, chi is from chicken, and mm-hmm. mag is from mekju, which okay. means like uh, chicken and beer. Oh, oh. Like in Korea. Okay. you have to have this. Chicken and beer is the best combination. <laughs> okay, we shall we shall that when the time comes. Yes, that is not. Uh, so, so fried chicken. There's a there's a fried chicken from the Philippines that's. Also, like slowly getting uh, known in other places, and it's called Jollibee. <laughs> <laughs> and jo- it's called Jollibee, and they're known for their fried fried chicken. Um, oh, that's a franchise, right? Yes, yeah. it's a franchise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I tried it. <laughs> how, how do you find it? How do you find it? The, 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 I... the called Chicken Joe. <laughs> <laughs> And also, uh, I like the chon. The chon, oh, uh, I see. And um, there's a uh, kind of like sour soup. Sinigang. Sina, see something. Sinig, sinigang. Sinigang. Yes. Yes, yeah. so I like that. Too. We also love okay. sinigang very much. That is like uh, something that I like, wouldn't really face in Korea. Uh, like not. It, That sour soup taste isn't really. Um, I can't find it a lot. Yeah, I see. I see. We'll bring. We'll And bring noodles. Yeah, when we when we like meet, <laughs> hopefully someday we we'll, we'll we'll talk you some sinigang. Mm-hmm. And, and um, Philippines noodles are are also amazing. Ah yes 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 definitely. Pancit. Pancit. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, speaking of noodles, I just had uh, japagetti for. Oh, okay. <laughs> This that, is like, that's, like, that's good. And um, <laughs> other spicy instant noodles too, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Instant noodles. Mm-hmm. My favorite. Uh, <laughs> so, so Yonke, uh, we can, do you want to answer some like questions from Twitter? We we there mm-hmm. a lot right now. So yeah. We can we can answer my day. from my days. A lot of my days in Luana are tweeting. Okay, um, let's find. You guys can talk about something else first. I'll look for tweets. Or you can look for tweets. I can look okay. for tweets. All right. So what I'm do is looking for tweets. Um, how about you? What did you have for lunch today? What did I have for lunch today? Yeah. Because we're talking about food. Uh, egg and uh, egg scrambled. 
uh -huh. and some crab meat, but it's really not crab meat. <laughs> if, not, if there are crab <laughs> yeah, there's this thing called basal. Uh it's it's crab meat, but it's really not crab meat. Okay. Um, it, it, it's yeah. like it it's it it tastes like or like the texture is like crab meat, but not really. Yeah. It's not uh, made of crab meat. <laughs> There's something like that over here. And they I think they call it crab stick here, but then it's not really crab. And I, yeah. I, I crab that, stick. Yes. And uh, some people are getting crab stick. Yeah. And I actually oh. just recently learned that it isn't made from crabs. So that's <laughs> like I feel I feel so betrayed. <laughs> yeah, uh, I had those too. I see, I see. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's read some questions. Okay. Many people commenting about our chicken chicken <laughs> conversation. <laughs> oh, this is a nice question that you probably hear a lot. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? So how would you answer that question? You know, it's, I, it's really, I, this is a very, what, what would you say? What, what do you guys think? Oh, and you have something to that. <laughs> um, I believe that uh -huh. because we have eggs for breakfast and chicken uh -huh. for eggs came first. Uh, that is a very wise answer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank wow. you. Right? Now you have an answer whenever someone asks you. <laughs> Okay. Yes. Easy. <laughs> wow. Okay. Thank you. That was one of the hardest questions that I could not answer. All right. Let's uh, let's read some more tweets. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, people are saying that we're so serious talking about food, but food is. Something to be passionate about, right? Exactly. Yes. No? And that's the only, that's the reason why we did it. Yes. <laughs> I believe that too. We make music so we can eat more food. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, ah, so, um, there, there's a co comment here from um, from one of the Liwanag, and um, maybe we can share with you a bit what Liwanag means, because our, our our fandom is named Liwanag. And Liwanag, yeah. Liwanag, and Liwanag is a Tagalog word, which means light. So, and it could mean like so many things, but. I think one of our first inspirations, besides like what people would regularly think that we'd call our fan base light because like they can be light to other people. Uh, there was this visual that would always be with us whenever we'd perform our live shows. And then there were a bunch of songs that we do where we'd ask everyone to raise their phone lights. And then there would just be a sea of lights everywhere. and. It was always just such a, a wild feeling realizing that in that sea of lights, each person who's holding up their phone comes with their own story. They've, it's, it's each individual person that's being touched by our music and like the power to make that impact and to give people light as well as let them be a light to both us, both for us and for the people around them. It seemed like just such a nice, like, visualization of what music is like or what music does for people. That uh, when we make music, what ends up happening is that it becomes such a 
an experience both for the listener and for the people who get to perform because not everyone is given the opportunity to perform and to do music for a living so we like to remind our fan base that we're only here or we can only do what we do because they were always there to like support us and uh, bring our music places beautiful yeah Hmm. Okay. We, we, we um watched one of your interviews with Eric Tam, and okay. yeah, and um, you said something there about uh, my days being able to really uh, fight for your music, and you know, because and, and I think we want to talk more about that and a lot about that because it's. What we love about what we personally love about Day Six as well is that um, it's a band, and a band band music is not really that common from from what we know at least from from K, from Korean music. So tell us more about that. Like how how did you guys um, start, and then how did My Days really play that role in you know bringing your music um, to more awareness to other people? Because we love your music, so we want to know more Thank about you. it. <laughs> well, like, to be honest, uh, like, you, you know, uh, a lot of music that we listen to, that we, uh, that we face, it's, you know, a lot of it contains band music, doesn't it? Like, it's played by, if it's played by guitar, like, it, it is band music. It just, not played by the played by a band. Yeah. So I like when when I listen to music, there are pop music that's only computer program. But there are if there's guitar or like a bass guitar, keyboard or uh, drum recorded, like it's it's basically band music. But just I don't know. A lot of people don't really have that much interest in the band itself mm -hmm. so i would say if the music is good just over uh, competing against like all the other good music well i wouldn't say competition but um it's not really that easy for bands to perform in korea because there are not too many, not too many stages. Uh -huh. So, like you know, usually bands would go out and perform in uh, smaller venues or uh, festivals. Mm -hmm. But that that's like not too many of band uh, stages are are there in Korea, but I don't know. But what I think is, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's, because there are other singers, like for example, you know, you can come in on the stage without any, need to like, check your monitor, or readers, but if you can just play the instrument, in instrumental, and just mm -hmm. sing on it, that's a lot faster and that's a lot easier. And sometimes, if they want to bring out the band, there are people who are like you know, crazy good and just people like uh, just a guitarist and a drummer and a bassist. If they are gathered, it's that's possible for them too. So. Uh, I think just uh, going on the stage, bands have a little harder time. So that might be the issue, but you know, I'm I'm not an expert, so I don't know. But uh, what my day made it possible was uh, they brought us out to the world. You know, they read the word and they speak about us on the internet so people recognize oh there's this band called a6 mm -hmm. 
and they listen to our music and they so if and also there's a there was a chart in Korea that people a lot of people just play the top 100 chart on in the stores in a, in a department store or anywhere else just they just play those songs in one top 100 so it's harder for people to go in that top 100 without their help. You know? So they brought us up there and then people, I think, and then people started to listen to us more. I so, see. yeah, so I think that's something that they made happen. In fact, I think what's beautiful about that is also because of my days, uh, we discovered your music. Uh, they were the ones who recommended your music to us. And I think they were also the ones who shared our music to you. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so that's, that's, that's crazy. We, mm-hmm. we, but we, we would have never met before. You know, this could have never happened. Yeah. But first, they came into our... Uh, so they're probably all Liwana and also my day. Yes, <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah you know, listening to both of our music and, you know, there, there are these guys named Ben and Ben and li- try listening to them, especially the, uh, especially Leaves because it's in English, it, it, you, you might like it and I listened to it because there were a lot, quite a lot of people recommending that song and recommending you guys actually. So I typed up Ben and Ben and uh, listened to it and wow, I, I loved it. And so, yeah. I spoke about that, and, and then all of this happened. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's actually very surreal for us to be here talking to you, because, you know, um, like our keyboardist uh, in the band, Pat, would all say, um, yeah, if like I were talking to my high school or elementary self, saying that I would be talking to an artist from Korea, such as yourself, someday, it feels like a crazy fever dream. So, we're really happy that we were able to talk to you. No, I'm, I'm happy too. Thank you. We, we really wish that, you know, um, I mean, of course, for now, like, virtual hangouts is the norm. But then someday, when we have the chance, we'd love to, like, have coffee or something and you know just jam and because we're both Definitely. yeah chicken and beer chicken and beer <laughs> <laughs> that too of course um like what i want to try like maybe in the future is uh maybe write a song together i because i yeah. want to be involved in, like how you guys write a song yes yes we we love that we love that um because of course uh well, we, we've heard a bit about how your process is and we, for sure, like, we learn a lot about about it and Pao also shared a bit about how we write songs. So I think there's something about um, exchanging the way that we do things and, you know, collaborating on something that brings out something entirely new from, like, what we both are used to. So definitely, we'd be up for that someday. Maybe in the future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the people in the comments are going crazy now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Come together. Yes. Okay. Hmm. And about- um, yeah. Pardon? Would you have a question for us? Like, um, and ask. You can anything. ask us anything yeah. on anything under the sun. <laughs> oh. Uh... I wanted to ask you something. Uh, Oh, no, no, no. I wanted to tell you something that, um, you know, especially the lyrics, all will be all right in time. And you guys are repeating that in the song, right? Yeah. And then, what's the song? Key goes up. Key change. Yeah, key change. Key change. And then the key change, all will be all right in time. That hits me so hard. That was a great song. I loved it. 
love to. I, I hope I hope all will be all right. In, uh, uh, you know, all will be all right in time. And when all of this passes by, you know, we can yeah. go overseas and mm -hmm. you know, we're together or just hang out. Yeah. There's there's something about and when when you also sang that line, there was just something about hearing it in this time. That you know, right now, even if there's like a vaccine and and things are slowly inching their way to getting better, there's still that thought that when will this end? When will this all end? But then, I guess you know, um, that's why this project also inspired us a lot because. It, it brought new life to that song. And with that, it also brought like new hope, I think. Because, you know. Especially as like a song that two countries are working on. It kind of brought that song to a whole new level that it doesn't speak of just personal experience anymore. It kind of became a song that spoke of something that the entire world is going through. Yeah. And like for sure. that verse of yours really helped bring that feeling of like we're really all in this together. We're one in this. We're one in this together. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. Well, yeah. um a lot of people are requesting us to like sing just a line from the song. So are you are you up for that, Yankee? Do you wanna yeah. Definitely. We could like sing since since the latency in in Instagram Live is quite yes. a problem. Like sing half half a chorus. So maybe you could start. Okay. 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 Yeah. Oh, you can start. Oh, so um, do you want to start it or do you want us to start it? Doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> maybe we can start it. So okay. you start it, and then Young K will. Continue. Okay. of trees and all will be all right in time from waves overgrown come the colors of seeds and all will be all right in time oh you never really love someone until you learn to forgive Oh, man, <laughs> that voice, though. Are you sure you're not? <laughs> Your voice is exactly like the recording. <laughs> Your Your voice sounds exactly like the recording. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, you have a great voice, though. I I, um, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Also, also, uh, I watched the live videos, uh, no, live performance you guys did in the radio booth. You know how oh. you guys were really clustered yeah. together? Yes, yes. That's now, a big... <laughs> yeah, uh, the visuals, it was adorable. But oh, you know, the sound that, the, the sound that uh, you guys are making is just, wow. <laughs> it was amazing. Thank you, man. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> I, I I want to share something about like what you said earlier about band music, and I think that's one of the a lot. That's one of a lot of reasons we're inspired by you guys. Because in a way, even if you don't know it, or maybe you probably don't think about it um, as much, you guys are fighting for band music. When when whenever you perform, and you know, whenever you you just create music and you know you share it to your audiences you share it to your country and we resonate so much with that because we're a band as well and we we know the struggles as well of like setting up your monitors and like you know being in all, sync, the equipment. all the equipment on stage it definitely isn't like as easy as just playing a track and you know performing to it but there's just something about it that I think it's the community, the friendship, the the bond you have with with your bandmates, and and there's something about that kind of music being played together that you know that the 
you, you can hear the instruments clearly, but they're all together. And then it just sounds very organic and very real. You guys think? Yeah, same. that's how I, how, how I personally like to think of it is like, when you play as a band and you perform live, there's a lot of risk involved. And yes. when as a group, you go through a lot of risk day after day after day after day, it really does form a different kind of bond, a different kind of chemistry. And it shows in the music, it really does. It, 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 uh, that that uh, chemistry really shows in the music you make when you know that uh, you're playing live. There's just something about it. Yeah, well, when, when we watch your stuff, we, we particularly enjoy as well the live performances of it. Um, like there was this performance you guys did as well in a radio booth where you, you all, uh, in a radio station in, in Korea, I think. Uh, uh -huh. You guys performed in a radio station there and you sang one of your newer songs live. And we really love that performance because like you could hear clearly the vocal, you could hear th that the instruments were, you know, being played while singing because that's not as easy as most people think it is to do. Right? Yeah. So yeah, we, we just want to thank you guys. That's what we're trying to say. We just want to thank you for like, for standing up for band music. We, we want to thank you. Well, thank you too. Because, <laughs> you know, we, I, well, if that's happening, that's amazing. Uh, but, you know, because we didn't, like, at least I didn't know that I was going to be part of a band <laughs> when oh. I came to Korea. <laughs> okay. I came to this company called JYP, not knowing what I'm going to be. Uh, they actually taught me how to like, sing, how to dance. And I remember just, the, but, the back flip. <laughs> yeah, the day I uh, succeeded on in, in backflip, <laughs> they told me to become a fan. And then there I am. Um, and then one day they tell me to play the bass. I'm like, yes, okay. <laughs> and then I this this happened, and you know, since I'm in it, mm -hmm. I might as well have fun with it and just do well. And yeah, uh, like I said before, like both going on stage, like we have our own struggle, uh, like monitor all the equipment and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm not saying that other genres or like other people don't have uh, uh, this much struggle. They have their own struggle too, but the speed wise, like we are slower. You know? Yes, preparing for it and like. Preparing for the album too, but just that moment on the stage preparation and taking all the uh, equipment out and like thankfully lately there are people who helps us uh, take these uh, instrument and equipment out, but you know that that didn't happen in the beginning. So yeah. you know, just the speed wise, it's kind of slower. Uh, that yeah, and. Uh, what else did I try to say? And, oh yeah, and also I wanted to tell you the bondage and the chemistry that you guys talked about. It, it was great with uh, you guys too, uh, watching your vlog and uh, seeing you guys just uh, you know playing basketball together. Oh my god! Yeah. Together. Just by watching that, it's it's great. And oh yeah, I also want to tell you, how do you make the videos? All of your videos are very aesthetic, and uh, it has kind of that uh, artistic vibe in every single video you make, lyric video, music video, and anything. Mm. How do you how how do you guys do that? Well, it it the credit all goes to our team because we we um. Oh, I think I don't think we've mentioned that, that currently we're living, we're all living together in one house. So mm -hmm. uh, that includes also the there's a guy in the team who does the and the creative direction of all of it, and 
the credit goes to them because they really put in the work to make sure that everything we put out is like um, carefully, artistically directed and, you know, um, it turns out like great when it comes out. Yeah, because um, for us as a band, we like to make sure that the music we make is excellent. So when it comes to the video aspect of it, uh, video in itself is a really difficult art form. So we wanted to make sure that we got to work with someone who's really passionate also about video and directing. So uh, he lives with us now and he's gotten to know us also over the months. So uh, I think his comfort with us and his uh, kind of knowing us also translated to video. It's crazy though that you watch the vlogs. Like, <laughs> do you guys you know, all put in the ideas together, or like, does that video guy take charge and just takes care of everything? Well, it's it's kind of a collaborative effort as well. So there's a, a creative director who names Karen, and the video guy's name is Joel, and there's also an art director as well named Isabel. And they all they all work together to um, together with the band in conceptualizing things, in um, putting it together, and a lot of people in in our team work hard to make sure that video production goes well, you know. But it isn't. I I want to credit them now because it isn't easy in these times, especially here in the Philippines. Like, you really have to. You know, of course, first and foremost, you have to be careful because it's the pandemic still. But then a lot of things, especially in transport and like logistics and moving things around, it isn't as easy as it was for the pandemic. So to be able to put out those kinds of things, it, it, takes, a, it takes a lot of work. So we're, we're, we're happy that you appreciate it because, you know, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the font and the colors and the filter and just everything. I loved it. Every, every, almost every single video and the music video, the storyline and the, even the acting in there. Yeah, I loved it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. We, we watched your new video as well, the video for your friend singer. And we, we I thought like when, when the car suddenly stopped i thought they went into an accident or something yeah. and i, I also how uh, there's a there's a certain way as well that the style is very distinct yeah right so yeah we love the artistic direction of it as well thank you yeah i was just curious because you know from vlog to learning videos music videos, every like every single video it has like a the similar vibe to it. So yeah. Wait, wait, we we didn't really I don't know, did we plan it out? Or it just, really, it just happened. It just happened, I guess. I think it's because <laughs> there's so many of us, so I think our personality seeped through the video. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe. And the uh, color of Ben and Ben. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Huh. Um, the the people here on IG are dying to ask, uh, can you still backflip? <laughs> no, 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 I don't want to break my neck. And, and, you know, I got a lot older, so I don't think I can handle that anymore. So no. <laughs> okay, everyone, <laughs> the backflip. <laughs> Please do not ask me to backflip. No, I don't want to do it. <laughs> The thing they're asking is basics. Okay. Um, is it okay if we sing a basic song for you? Definitely. Uh, I'll sing the last half of, or like any, or just I will listen. I will listen. Thank you. That I will be you to do that. Okay. Oh, prepared. We're prepared. <laughs> See, we have a guitar here. So. But we didn't prepare for this, you know. We, we just happened to have a guitar. Here. Yeah. Random. Let me search the lyrics. We'll search, we'll search some lyrics so we make sure. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's amazing how you guys can sing it out, like in Korea. 
hilarious. That was amazing. Oh, we actually really, really, really enjoy being able to read and pronounce it, even if we don't know what it means. Korean for us, just it it flows it flows so nicely for us. I think because um, how it's uh, related to Tagalog, whereas like I, I like seeing it as Tagalog is pretty boxy, but Korean uh, is <laughs> flowy. Oh, nice. Right. Okay. Yeah. The lyrics are close. Wait. Oh, wait. So, yeah. Okay, we're going to sing for you. You were beautiful. Okay. I'm nervous. <laughs> Let's do it. 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 Let's do it.
don't be down and and we will work harder to bring you guys joy and you no know, always it thank you for always being there for us and supporting us and just existing thank you well said man that was so beautiful yeah you could write a song for me oh yeah we can write a song from that no? <laughs> <laughs> thank you for existing <laughs> work with you yeah dude. write Again. the song together yeah that would be like crazy we can yeah. write the song together definitely we have uh, one last favor i think on behalf of the liwanag and filipino my days could you uh mm-hmm. t- tell them mahal ko kayo mahal ko kayo it means it's, i love you in tagalog yeah so it's mahal ko kayo mahal ko kayo Yes. yes. Perfect. <laughs> What does it mean? Yeah. It means I love you. Ah, oh, mahal ko kayo. Oh. Yes. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you so much. Thank you. We we love chatting with you and like we hope we could get in touch at some other time, you know. Mm-hmm. Just and, and with, with this band as well. Yeah, and, and with, with the whole with, gang. Yeah, with your with your other bandmates as well. So we could also yeah. Yeah, we could also bring in our other band members. Yeah. They're not here now. Yeah. Thanks so much, Yam. <laughs> and I think the video for Leaves is already out. Oh, yes, yes. It's, it's out, out right now. Right now. So it's out. So for those who are watching right now, you can head on to YouTube. And I think it's the premiere of our music video. So. What time is it right now? Right, right now. Right now. <laughs> right now. <laughs> yeah. Go, please go watch the music video. <laughs> and watch the and, MV. <laughs> yeah. It's shot in two different countries. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. <laughs> okay. I guess that I guess the time is up then because the music video yeah. is out. Uh okay. but next time. Thank yes. you so much, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye bye. 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 Thank you.